Hello everyone and welcome you all. So in this class I am going to explain what are the possible locations for the nodes. Now for example we will take one bar element let us take with the stepped bar. and we will try to explain you the fundamental of dividing the element and representing of the nodes. Okay, so this type of problem you will be easily identified in the FEM. Okay, so there is an a bar element, the load is acting along the axis here and you need to divide this in a different element. For example, I will take the one more load is applied here in a opposite direction. Let us say this is P2 and this is P1. Two loads are applied and this is an aluminum and this is an copper you will take. So both materials are different. Okay, so in this case, how do you represent the nodes? So now, first you have to discretize this element. Okay, so in a line diagram, we will be making. So here, there will be one node at fixed point and there will be another node generally will take here and third node will be at their ends. So how do you divide it on what basis? Okay, so first condition is, is when the load applied, where the load is applied, where the point load, let us say, point load is applied, there you need to take the load. There, there you need to take the nodes. Now where, where uh, point load is applied at here also, it means there should be one more node here. Okay, and at 4 anyhow it is already there. So whenever there is a load is applied, so there you have to take the nodes. Now for example, if I have to apply one more load here in the same direction. So this is let us say 10 and this is let us say 20 Newton. So again here also there may be another node. Okay. So when the load is applied, so there you have to take the nodes. Again when the loads are different, load uh, you can say quantity when the load uh, values are different. Okay, so P1, P2, P3 are different. So you have to take the separate node for them. Now, third one. When the materials are changed, so from here to here, there is a one element and from here to here, another element. So let us say this is element 1, this is element 2. It means when the materials are changed, are changed. So here at this point, the there should be one more node. Okay. And the next point is when the cross section or the geometry is changed cross section or the geometry of the model is changed so here again this is a where larger 
diameter and immediately it changes to the another diameter it means there the cross section is changed so there also you have to take the notes okay and uh, so these are the important to be remember while uh, solving the fem problems okay so when the loads are applied and whenever there is a fixed end there you have to take the notes and when the cross section is changed and also when the material is changed so there you can apply the notes it is called as uh, discretizing the element in a fem language will say discretizing the finite element method hope your doubt is clear now how to divide the elements and how to represent the nodes now you can represent the nodes 1 2 3 4 5 like and elements like 1 2 3 4 okay so earlier it was 1 to 2 but based upon their different condition it becomes an four elements right so thank you